joined by Linfield College. They've just completed play in the seventh game of the 2015 NCAA Division III Softball National Championship Series. We have with us head coach Jackson Vaughn and pitcher Montana McNeely. Coach, comments from you about today's game? Um, obviously, tough game. Uh, we just didn't do a good enough job adjusting hitting wise. Uh, we got jammed a lot throughout the game. Just didn't do a good enough. Did do it that. Didn't do a good enough job adjusting. Um, you have to give Kelsey credit. She threw a great game for, for UC Tyler and. Uh, certainly Montana did a great job keeping us in the game and we certainly had a few chances but uh, really you know pretty crisp well played game defensively both pitchers pitched well um, we just you know would have hoped that we could have put a few more pitches and play hard and, and just put more pressure on them defensively. In such a tight game talk about some of the moves you were trying to make throughout the game to get that that first run across to maybe start a waterfall it happens so often with your team. Yeah I mean we were just trying to adjust because they just kept uh, having success, she did throwing us inside and um, try to get the kids to make a few adjustments in the box and just trying to get down a little bit earlier and make some decisions and, and she was very successful at it today um, and you have to credit her obviously for part of that. And we told the kids to win this tournament, if you haven't watched the other pitchers you better build a hit inside so uh, uh, so if we, you know, if we're going to have a shot that's an adjustment we have to make now or at some point just to compete with the better pitchers because they the better pitchers here, the, those uh, three kids all do a great job of pounding teams inside pretty heavy. So. Montana, talk a little bit about your performance today. Just really one blip is all that, that it was, and you were very strong throughout the rest of the game. Just like Kelsey, I talked to her a little bit about when we have peaks and valleys in the game, you were right on the flow throughout. It kept pace. Talk a little bit about how you were feeling out there. Um, yeah, so I think our uh, game plan was just to come in, compete. Uh, I was just out there trying to do my best to keep our offensive in the game, offense in the game. So uh, just really hit my spots, uh, try to keep them off balance a little bit. Uh, they did a really nice job hitting the change up today, and uh, they did a really nice job. So we just uh, tried to stay in it, I guess. Is, is it tough to know when you face a team, a, a little bit of a unique squad like UT Tyler, they haven't played a whole lot of games outside of Texas. So is it tough to know exactly what you were going to face when you guys were going through game plan? Uh, I think definitely uh, Tyler's known as a well-hitting team, a strong offense, uh, a lot of righties in the lineup. We saw them uh, a couple years back, uh, we went down to Texas, so we kind of knew what we were in for. So. Now looking looking forward, you get to you get to come back and play tomorrow, and assume you'll have the ball again, be able to tow the rubber. From a player's perspective, what is what is the rest of the tournament? What do you think it's going to look like for you guys as you continue on, where it's a winner go home situation now? Uh, yeah, I think we're definitely taking it uh, one game at a time. We've been in this losers bracket situation, so I think we're trying to focus, win one at a time, and then we'll move on. So uh, just really come out, compete, give our best each day. Coach, kind of a, a question I talk with with Coach Reed about as well is we've seen a lot of errors in the in the tournament so far, but this game in particular was as clean as you mentioned. What do you think contributed to that? Because the pace of play was also very quick. Um, it was. I think you know both teams are I think pretty strong defensive teams, and uh, sometimes um, you know the ball obviously was a little bit better balanced. But I thought their shortstop made a number of really nice plays on the ball. She had a charge and. Uh, she's uh, known as a really good defensive shortstop, so I thought she did a great job with that. Our second baseman, Kenzie, really had a great game at second, uh, making a number of great plays. And um, You know, I think both teams have stepped up and, and played great defense behind their pitchers today. And sometimes when you start off a game and the kids make a couple of great plays and just kind of just like hitting feeds off of itself and, and uh, just kind of raise your play defensively as a team. So. And just one more for you here as we continue on your next game. I believe you get to come up against the Paw in your next one here as we go crossover in the bracket. What do you know about the Paw and what do you expect for that game tomorrow? Um, not a lot, just what we've seen here mostly. We played them last in 2010, I think. So, um, but very impressed, I guess, just how scrappy they are. They battled the heck out of it with Salisbury the first game and uh, had a really tough game today. And uh, just really impressed, I guess, with their kind of grittiness and kind of you can tell they're kind of a never give up kind of squad and even what I know of how they came out of their super regional is kind of that way so uh, so we're expecting a tough game um, and so we'll hopefully you know regroup but you always got to regroup after a loss and hopefully the kids can understand they're you're kind of fighting for your life from now on and just play with a little bit higher level of focus and cause and get after it. Well coach in Montana thank you very much and good luck in your next game.